Just for folks who might be coming in right now as we're wrapping this up for the day, what's the key points the prosecution made and the key points the defense made? So I think the key points that the state made was that it, sh it should be a, a, mur a, a verdict of murder because before she went through the door, she knew that things weren't right. She had options. She had options. And her training said, exercise other options. Don't go in and draw your gun. But because she chose to dis disregard her training, disregard those options, and go through the door, she, she became intentional and she should be found guilty of murder. The defense is saying, you know, hey, she thought it was her house. Look at all these other people who were making similar mistakes. The door had problems. Uh, it was totally reasonable for her, her to think that was her apartment, to go through and react the way she did. Terrible tragedy, but she had the right to, from her, in her perspective, which the jurors need to look at it from, she had every right to be there and do what she did. And of course, we're both surprised that criminally negligent homicide is not in the mix here. Very surprised that that was not part of it. Um, manslaughter and criminally negligent homicide are very, very similar uh, defenses. So to not have that in there, uh, or not defenses, but options, um, to not have that in there is very curious to me, very curious. Well, we're going to wrap it up for the day. Again, this, will, this court will restart at 8.30, and it'll be kind of like this. We're waiting and watching, waiting to see what questions the jury might have, what exhibits they might ask for that'll hopefully telegraph uh, what they're looking at. And so we will see you again in the morning. Um, thank you for joining us.